Good evening. Welcome to the Penfield Town Board Legislative Meeting of Wednesday, October 5th, 2022. Would you please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much. Um, may I call this meeting to order at 631, and could I have the deputy town clerk do a roll call? Cinti? Here. Draw? Here. Call? Here. Lee? Here. Ackenden? Here. All present? All right, we have several communications and announcements for this evening, and we'll start with a very special proclamation to a very special person. I'd like to ask Jim Olmstead from uh, to come up and have a seat at one of the microphones. Jim was a longtime chair of the Conservation Board, and he has stepped down. Uh, we'd like to acknowledge his service uh, with a proclamation for this evening. Thank you for coming today. Well, I thank you. It's been an honor and pleasure to serve, and uh, had a great group of people that uh, to, you know I worked with, and many funny uh, stories over so, the years as we did site walks. So, Jim, can I give you? Can we give you read a, a proclamation from the town of Penfield? Sure. To you, thank great. You. And this is from uh, to Jim Olmstead to celebrating your service to Penfield. So, whereas Mr. Jim Olmstead has dedicated over 25 years of service to the town of Penfield. And whereas he has served on the Penfi Town of Penfield Conservation Board since 1996. And whereas under his leadership as Conservation Board Chair, the committee has conducted environmental impact reviews of hundreds of construction projects within the Town of Penfield. And whereas with assistance of the Conservation Board led by Jim, the Town of Penfield has grown in an environmentally responsible manner. And whereas in August, Jim retired from his role as chair of the Town of Penfield Conservation Board. And whereas the Town of Penfield and its residents have greatly benefited from your leadership. And now be it resolved that the Penfield Town Board proudly recognizes Jim for his service to the Penfield community. And be it further resolved that the Penfield Town Board extends its gratitude to Jim for his contributions uh, to the betterment of Penfield. And it's dated um, October 5th, 2022, signed by Marie Sinti, Supervisor, um, acknowledged by Debbie Draw, Councilwoman, Linda Cole, Councilwoman, Candace Lee, Councilwoman, and Bob Ockett, and Councilwoman, Councilman. And Jim, I'm just so very pleased as a liaison to the Conservation Board that, I'm, that I was able to um, present this to you today. So again, we thank you for all that you have done, all the service for the town. I'm going to come you. over. Thank you. It was very thoughtful. And give you this. Why don't you have a seat you have so we can it. hear you on the microphone? Oh, you have to do that yeah. in the microphone. Yeah. Well, for those who may be watching at home instead of watching the reruns of Everybody Loves Raymond, <laughs> <laughs> um, and there is one funny story I'll share with, uh, with you folks. And that is that uh, we, uh, we had a planting of a number of trees with some help from some scouts. But those trees needed to be watered on a pretty continuing basis. It was a dry summer. And so we set upon doing that, and we had to use Bob Kenauer's truck. And uh, we hauled water in barrels to the site. And I thought, well, instead of walking all the way down from where we put the water on the truck to where the trees were, I thought, I'll just ride on the back of the truck. So I hopped on, hopped on the, you know, the very back end of the truck, which had already hauled water on a couple of occasions, and didn't realize, you know, when the truck starts up, the water <laughs> comes down. <laughs> And it pretty well filled my pants with cold water. <laughs> so I'll never forget that. That was, uh, that was probably the funniest uh, memory I have of our time together on the conservation board. 
<laughs> but it was a great group of folks, and um, it was um, time for me to step down, but uh, I will always remember that uh, it was a really good group to work with, and the town staff that we worked with were nice folks. And uh, so I want to thank you all as a, as a board for giving me the opportunity to serve. And I wish you all well. Jim, thank you very much for your service. And that was way funnier than Everybody Loves Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. It's not a bad show, though. <laughs> <laughs> thank you again. Thank you. Jim. Thanks, Jim. You bet. <laughs> All right, we have several more announcements for this evening. I'll start with the deputy town clerk. Do you have anything? No, nothing. Okay, Councilperson <clears throat> Lee, we'll start from the other end. The Penfield Trails Committee will be leading a guided hike this Saturday, October 8th at 10 a.m. at the Shadow Pines property located at 600 Whalen Road. To register, please uh, do so at the contact phone number provided on, on the website as well. The following week on October 13th, there will be a spooky parking lot bingo hosted by Penfield Recreation in the Penfield Community Center. Registration is also being requested. The bingo event lasts from 6, 5.45 to 6.45. And lastly, I'm jumping ahead to November, but there is a arts and craft fair held on Saturday, November 5th, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Penfield Community Center. We'll likely be announcing this again as who can remember uh, a month later. Thank you very much, Councilperson Cole. Okay, I have three announcements. Uh, first one, this Saturday, October 8th, is the Historic Preservation Appreciation Day. And we haven't done this in, in the, about 10 years, but one of the reasons why we're having this is the county has a bicentennial celebration, and they were looking for the towns to have um, different activities to participate in their historical heritage. And the Historic Preservation Board came up with this and it's going to be a lot of information about uh, landmark houses and how you get your house um, designated and those kind of things. There'll be activities for kids and families, uh, refreshments. Uh, all residents are, are welcome. It's from 1 to 3 uh, here in the auditorium on Saturday. And if you want more information or if you want to RSVP, you can do so to Shannon Barg, who's our, our uh, staff person for the Historic Preservation Board at barg at penfield.org. And my second announcement is I'm a liaison to the Penfield Public Library, and it just happens that we have three vacancies coming up at the end of the year. So um, we're seeking new members. The Library Board of Trustees is a nine-member panel that provides strategic direction for library operations, the term beginning January 2023. Applications are available at the library or at www.penfieldlibrary.org. So if you have any interest, spend time at the library with your children or, you know, book discussions or whatever, you know, if you have this interest, please, please um, look into this and, and we'd appreciate any applications. And finally, this is more, um, more personal because Saturday was Penfield Community Bike Drop, which I've been working on for, um, well, this is the 11th one we had. It would have been 12 if it wasn't for COVID. But um, thank you to all the residents. We got 220 bikes and bike parts to go to our community bikes, who refurbishes these bikes and gives them out to people in need in the city. And if you didn't come, I always get the, the um, address wrong, but if you didn't come and want to still um, give a bike this year, you can contact our community bikes net. And they're at 226 Hudson Avenue in the city. But if you want to wait for next year, we always have this bike drop the first Saturday in October. So you can uh, prepare for next year or, or get the bikes over to our community bikes now. But thank you all that came out on Saturday. It was a lot of fun and a lot of uh, different bikes and, and scooters and so on like that. We had a, um, a variety and appreciate all the residents coming out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Councilperson Ockenden. Thank you. I do have two announcements tonight. Uh, the first, volunteers are needed to participate in the Penfield Good Neighbor Day. This will be the fall edition. Uh, it's being held Saturday, October 22nd from 9 a.m. to noon. This will be light fall cleanup. It'll be to assist our seniors and the disabled in our community. Uh, groups, families, and individuals are all uh, welcome and invited to participate. To volunteer, please call 340-8655 or you can email Sabrina at srenner, 
at penfield.org. Again, that's Saturday, October 22nd from 9 to noon. And secondly, just a reminder of the Penfield Halloween Family Fun Night. It's being held Friday, October 21st from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. at the Community Center, 1985 Baird Road. This is a great Halloween party for the whole family. Um, I do want to acknowledge and, and thank our local businesses that are participating and helping us with the event, uh, Bach to Rock, Wickham Farms, and Woody Acres. Again, thank you for your participation in that. And again, Friday, October 21st from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Thank you. Thank you. Council Person Draw. Yes, thank you. I have a couple announcements tonight. Uh, I'm going to piggyback on uh, Councilman Akadin's Ak um, uh, uh, Halloween um, weekend on the 21st uh, for the community center, but on um, the Penfield Community Victory Garden has a pumpkin walk the next night, which is Saturday, October 22nd from 6.30 to 8 p.m. at 1748 Five Mile Line Road. I believe this is the first time they've done a pumpkin walk, so I don't know. It sounds, like, sounds kind of fun. Exciting. So uh, try to come out and, uh, and support that. Um, next announcement I have is from the Pen, the Bry Pen Senior Rides, that they need the drivers are needed. Volunteer drivers provide transportation for senior residents in the towns of Brighton and Penfield. You can call 585-340-8674, or you can uh, contact them at www.facebook.com slash Pen Senior Rides. And this is especially near and dear to me because my father actually is a driver for the Bry Penn uh, Senior Rides. And he gets uh, quite a bit of um, uh, enjoyment out of um, drive, uh, helping people um, to their doctor's appointments and so forth. Um, so I think it's a really um, worthwhile cause. So if you have some time and like to drive a senior, um, look them up. And my last um, announcement is, I mentioned this last week, last uh, alleged meeting, um, walk this way for pedestrian safety tips. I'm a real passionate about that because I've seen too many people on bikes and walking that are, have to be careful about vehicles and traffic, especially all around town. So I just want to remind everyone, again, to please be safe in those crosswalks. Um, unplug, don't be a distracted walker. Make eye contact when, um, don't walk until your traffic stops. Be bright, wear reflective clothing, especially as night. And it, as unfortunately, it's getting darker and darker earlier. So pretty soon we're going to have, um, it, it, it'll be daylight savings time before we know it. So uh, never jaywalk, use crosswalks and intersections, stay alert all the way across the intersection. And then again, uh, watch for turning vehicles of all kinds. So just a reminder for everyone because to be safe here um, in our town and in all towns. So thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I do have two announcements. The first one is that the town offices will be closed Monday, October 10th. This is in recognition of Columbus Day. And I also wanted to just uh, also thank everyone for participating in the Shadow Pine celebration that was held on September 24th. This was a great event. We had um, a lot of people turn out. It was a wonderful, perfect day, actually, to celebrate uh, the opportunities that will exist with the Shadow Pines property. You can see in this video that um, a member of the Shadow Pines Committee, Donna Spinella, and myself were there to unveil a uh, Shadow Pines dedication plaque. You can go visit that. It's right at the entrance to the, the trails in the parking lot. We had several groups participate in the event, and it really was showcasing the possibilities that can exist uh, for this piece of property. This is 212 acres, so there's truly something for everyone there. Um, I'd also like to extend a special thank you to the people that helped organize the day. First of all, our thanks to DPW and Parks Foreman Tim Masterton, to our rec department and our director, Andy Erkfitz, and also members of PCTV who were there and who helped record that the piece of information. And also the committee members planning, that was um, Chris Tenay, Dave Renner, Andrew Erkfitz, Tim Masterton, and community members Jeff Burns, Donna Spinella, and Tim Murphy. So thank you to everyone. It was a very nice day. 
I believe that concludes our announcements for the <coughs> evening. Um, we don't have a public hearing, but we do have, we're coming up on our first public participation session. If you would like to speak, you can do so by calling us at 340-8771. You can also speak if you are present here in person, and also by reaching us directly on our website, penfield.org. I'm gonna ask the deputy town clerk if there's anyone who has signed up to speak. No. Okay, is there anyone who'd like to speak? Okay, um, I am not seeing anyone on the phone. I do see that we received a message from Kevin at Dublin Road saying that he sent a comment for participation to Steckloff at Penfield.org, that's our town clerk. Um, I wanna say that uh, Amy is not here this evening. We have our deputy town clerk in its place, so I don't have that email. I am very happy to pull that off and read it into the record at our next meeting. So thank you very much for reaching out. I don't have access to Amy's email. So I will do that for the next meeting. Thank you. All right, seeing no one calling in, I will declare this public participation session closed. Are there any additions or deletions to the agenda? All right, seeing none, we'll move right into our approval of minutes from September 7th. May I have a motion to approve <clears throat> these minutes? So moved. Second. Okay, uh, I heard uh, Councilperson Cole make a motion to approve with Councilperson Ogden um, shouting a second, I think. <laughs> uh, are there any questions or comments about the minutes? Okay, if not, we'll take a roll call vote to approve. Cinti? Aye. Draw? Aye. Cole? Aye. Lee? Aye. Ackenden? Aye. Five ayes. Have there been any petitions received by town board members or the town clerk? No. All right, we'll move right into our resolutions by function. Okay, and resolution. we just want to read off the, the uh, resolution. Mm -hmm. Resolution to set a public hearing to con consider a conditional use permit for a roofing business at 1854 Penfield Road, Daniel Roofing. So moved. Second. So whereas an application has been received by the Penfield Town Board for an issuance of a conditional use permit pursuant to the Town Code Section 250 5 point. 10-D to allow a roofing business at 1854 Penfield Road in the Four Corners Zoning District. And whereas the Penfield Town Board is best suited to act as lead agency within the meaning of the State Environmental Quality Review Act, which is SEEKER, and thus does hereby designate itself as lead agency pursuant to SEEKER. Whereas the sub subject application is determined to be a type two action pursuant to section 617.5 of the State uh, Environmental Quality Review Act. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the town board of the town of Penfield uh, shall hold a public hearing at the Penfield Town Hall, 3100 Atlantic Avenue, on November 2nd, 2022, at 6.30 p.m. Uh, on that said date to consider the said application and to hear all persons interested in the matter. And be it further resolved that the legal notice of this hearing is certified by the town clerk, so it shall be published at least once in the official newspaper of the town, the first publication he, uh, thereof to be not less than 10 nor more than 20 days before the date set for the said hearing as for said. A copy of this legal notice shall be posted on the official signboard of the town as prescribed by law. Thank you. Thank you. I have a motion by Councilperson Draw with a second by Councilperson Cole. If there are no questions or comments, we'll move right into a roll call vote. Cinti. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Ackenden. Aye. All aye. Resolution to authorize Town of Penfield to formally pursue a designation of Clean Energy Committee. So moved. I'm sorry, community. Thank you. So moved. I'll second that. So whereas the Town of Penfield continuously seeks to reduce energy consumption, increase use of renewable energy sources, and reduce material going to landfills by re reusing and recycling what we can, and adopting other sustainable practices when appropriate. Uh, whereas for many decades, town leadership has understood that decisions that benefit the environment also benefit taxpayers. The two go hand in hand. And whereas in 2010, the town board established the Energy and Environmental Advisory Committee, EEAC, to identify, research, and advise leadership on all matters of sustainability. And whereas the town is focused on providing the Penfield community with opportunities to reduce, reuse, recycle, and manage resources in ways that help to lower residential and business expenses. 
And whereas the town of Penfield hosts annual events for residential drop-off and recycling, secure document destruction, recycling, uh, uh, household, household hazardous waste collection, and a community victory garden on town land, and free public vehicle charging stations, and an electric car show. And whereas the town board is committed to working closely with the EEAC to identify and engage in practice to, practices to manage town government's impact on the environment in ways that deliver value to the taxpayers. Whereas in 1999, the town of Penfield decided to purchase local street lights directly from our g and &E and replace inefficient mercury vapor lights with more efficient high pressure sodium HPS fixtures. And whereas in 2018, the town began, began swapping HPS fixtures with even more efficient LED lights to further reduce consumption and cost. And in 2022, the town board authorized ARPA funds towards this project. And whereas the town of Penfield was the first in Monroe County to install public electric charging stations and continues to upgrade and install more at town facilities. And whereas the town continues to take steps to pursue renewable energy through the installation of a solar photovoltaic array producing 1.2 million kilowatt hours of energy annually, offsetting approximately 75% of the town of Penfield's overall electricity at its main facilities. And whereas the town has established a community choice aggregation program to provide an option for residents to have more options for renewable energy at a fixed rate. And whereas the clean energy community designation would open the town to potential grants towards more sustainable, sustainable efforts. And whereas the town of Penfield has already completed two of the four required high impact action items with approval by NACERTA. And whereas the clean energy community designation aligns with projects the town is already pursuing, such as community campaigns, LED street light upgrades, and charging station installations. So now, therefore, be it resolved that the town board hereby supports this pursuit of a clean energy community designation and authorizes the necessary town of Penfield officials to work together to complete appropriate high impact action <coughs> items and submit applicable, ap applicable materials to NYSERDA for formal approval and designation. Thank you. Thank you. I have a motion by Councilperson Draw and a second by Councilperson Lee. Uh, if you do have questions about this, you can see our discussion at last week's work session so that you can hear a little bit about this and our decision to move forward with this resolution. Are there any questions or comments? Okay, roll call vote. Cinti? Aye. Draw? Aye. Cole? Aye. Lee? Aye. Ockenden? Aye. All aye. <coughs> Authorization for the supervisor to sign a professional service contract with BME Associates for engineering services related to the Shadow Pines property. So moved. Second. So where is the town board of the town of Penfield has a conceptual master plan for the Shadow Pines properties prepared to address the recommendations of the Shadow Lake Shadow Pines advisory community advisory committee final report dated September 2nd. 2016 and the Shadow Pines Land Use Advisory Committee final report dated April 17, 2019. Whereas the Town Board authorized BME Associates to complete a site plan to address several of the components identified in the conceptual plan, which is now complete. And whereas the Town Board has now requested a proposal from BME Associates to prepare bidding and construction doc documents. And whereas BME Associates submitted a proposal to prepare the said site plan and supporting documentation at a cost not to exceed $29,080. And whereas the, the board classified this project as a type one action at its meeting on June 8, 2022. Whereas the town, the, the town identified involved and in interest, interested agencies that were con, 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 contacted declined declined lead agency status so therefore the town board declared itself the lead agency pursuant to seeker for the review of the above reference project as a type 1 action so whereas on September 28 2022 the board acting as a lead agency pursuant to seeker having classified this proposed action as a type 1 action adopted the full EA, EAF parts 2 and 3 and the negative declaration document 
according to the submission of a draft environmental impact statement was not required. Now, therefore, be resolved that the supervisor is hereby authorized to sign a contract with BME Associates of 10 Liftbridge Lane in, in Fairport, New York, to prepare a site plan and supporting documentation as identified in the professional services contract um, here attached at a cost not to exceed $29,000.80. And be it further resolved that the funds are available in the 2022 budget for these design services. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I just do want to clarify that it's $29,080. Oh my gosh, am I saying cents? Yes, I'm that's sorry. okay. I just I, wanted to be I apologize, clear the record. $80. No problem. All right, so we have a motion by Councilperson Draw and a second by Councilperson Ockendit. It's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you know, I thought about, I was looking at that and I said, this isn't right but I, <laughs> after I said it. All right, any questions or comments before we move to roll call vote? Okay. Cinti. Aye. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. Lee. Aye. Ackenden. Aye. All aye. <clears throat> Authorization for supervisor to sign a license and hold harmless agreement to allow a portion of a shed within a storm sewer easement at 12 Stone Hollow Drive. So moved. Second. So be it resolved that the town board hereby authorizes the supervisor to sign a license and hold harmless agreement with Timothy and Susan Dieter, the owners of the property at 12 Stone Howell Drive, to permit a portion of a shed to be installed within a stone sewer easement to the town of Penfield, located at 12 Stone Howell Drive in a form and substance acceptable to the town attorney. Thank you. Thank you. We have a motion by Councilperson Draw with a second by Councilperson Cole. I'd just like to note that this was discussed, discussed at last week's work session in case anyone has any questions. And if there are no comments, questions, we'll go for a roll call hmm. vote. Cinti? Aye. Draw? Aye. Cole? Aye. Lee? Aye. Ackenden? Aye. All aye. Authorization for a supervisor to sign a license and hold harmless agreement to allow a fence within a sidewalk easement at 8 Sunleaf Drive. So moved. Second. And this again is the, uh, be it resolved that the town board hereby authorizes the supervisor to sign a license and hold harmless agreement with John G. and Carmen V. Nursinger, the owners of property at 8 Sunleaf Drive, to permit a fence to be installed within a sidewalk easement to the town of Penfield, located at 8 Sunleaf Drive, in a form and substance acceptable to the town attorney. Again, this one was discussed um, at the last work session as well. Thank you. Thank you. Motion by Councilperson Draw with a second by Councilperson Lee. If there are no questions or comments, we'll go right to a roll call vote. Cinti? Aye. Draw? Aye. Cole? Aye. Lee? Aye. Ackenden? Aye. All aye. Approval of a revised special use permit and revised site plan associated with renovations proposed at 1221 Empire Boulevard, K2 Brothers Brewing, located in the sales, I'm sorry, LaSales Landing Development District. So, so moved. Second. Whereas an application was received by the Penfield Town Board for the issuance of a revised site plan and special use permit pursuant to Penfield Code Section 250-59.5.9.B-1 to allow for existing interior space to be converted to event space, the construction of a second story deck with enclosed patio space below, and related site improvements at K2 Brothers Brewing at 1221 Empire Boulevard, located in the LaSalle's Landing District. The town board held a public hearing uh, here on September 21st, 2022 at 6.30 p.m. to consider this application and hear all persons interested in the matter. And whereas the town board uh, designated itself as lead agency pursuant to uh, seeker and classified this application as a type two action, which concluded the seeker review process. Whereas this application was an expansion of a previous permits is issued by the town board with prior approvals and conditions carrying forward forward with the proposed building and site modifications. So now, therefore, be it resolved that the applicant's request for a revised special use permit and revised site plan approval at 1221 Empire Blue Boulevard, K2 Brothers Brewing, is hereby granted subject to the following conditions. Uh, one, the applicant shall obtain a special use permit from the town clerk and may 
uh, pay the appropriate fee. The special use permit is non-transferable. Any subsequent owner, operator, or use shall be required to apply for and obtain a new special use permit from the town board to operate a business at this location. Uh, two, any view, new or replaced signage proposed for the site will require administrative approval by the town board. Three, the applicant uh, shall obtain any and all necessary permits from the building department and comply with the occupant, occupancy requirements established for the property by the Penfield Fire Marshal in accordance with the New York State Uniform Code. Four, the use and operation of the site will conform with all applicable provisions of the Penfield Town Code and any conditions set forth in this and prior uh, town board approvals. Five, this business shall operate shall comply with all federal, state, county, and town codes. Uh, six, any future site changes required to address site circulation and parking shall be subject to the town board's review. And seven, failure to comply with the conditions set forth here and above may result in the rec recovation, rec in the recovation, the revocation of this special permit pursuant to the requirements of the zoning ordinance. And be it further resolved that the town board in granting this revised special use permit and revised site plan approval does so based on the following findings. Uh, the proposed renovation of the interior space, exterior modifications and additions and related site improvements will enhance the existing build, biz, business's ability to serve the community and region and expand its service offerings. Uh, the renovations will enhance the aesthetic appeal of the existing site and is supported uh, by town plans and land use regulations. And the proposed addition of a second story deck and building modifications will provide views of the around White Bay. And the proposal is consistent with and furthers the goals and objectives of uh, the requirements for issuing a special use permit in this district. Thank you. Thank you. I have a motion by Councilperson Draw with a second by Councilperson Ockenden. Uh, any questions or comments? All right. Roll call vote. Sinti? Aye. Draw? Aye. Cole? Aye. Lee? Aye. Ockenden? Aye. All aye. Authorization for relief, mm. I'm sorry, release of a sanitary sewer easement located at 100 YMCA Way. So moved. Second. So whereas the owners of the property at 100 YMCA Way have requested that the town of Penfield release the sanitary sewer easements and the drainage easement on the said property, and whereas the original easements were recorded in the Monroe County Clerk's Office as follows. Lieber 9742 of the deeds, page 6, uh, sanitary sewer and easement. Lieber uh, 10284 of the deeds, uh, drainage easement. Lieber 10253 of the deeds, a sanitary sewer easement. Lieber 10253 of the deeds, an access easement over lot one. Lieber 10253, an access easement over lot four. Lieber 10253 of the deeds, access easement over lot six. So whereas these easements, easements are no longer needed as new easements have been filed to replace them. So now, therefore, be it resolved that the town board of the town of Penfield hereby authorizes the supervisor to sign a release easement to permit the release of the existing easements as shown on the attached maps entitled Easement Abandonment Plan as prepared by BME Associates dated 531-22. Be it further resolved that the release of the easement shall be in the town's format and shall be recorded at the Monroe County Clerk's Office with a certified copy of this resolution. Thank you. Thank you. I have a motion by Councilperson Draw with a second by Councilperson Cole. I, I do want to point out that this was, dis, this was discussed at a work session over the summer. It was tabled until uh, Mark could make sure that there was absolutely no impact to access for Penfield Square. He has since determined that, that that's not an issue and is ready to move forward. Okay? Mm -hmm. Vote. All right. Um, again, motion by Councilperson Draw and a second by mm -hmm. Councilperson Cole. And the vote, Sinti? Aye. Draw? Aye. Cole? Aye. Lee? Aye. Ockenden? Aye. All aye. 
authorization for supervisor to sign a contract with Bergman PC for evaluation and design services of the Clark House. So moved. Second. Be it resolved that the supervisor is hereby authorized to sign a contract not to exceed $20,100 for services with Bergman PC of Rochester, New York to provide conceptual designs and cost estimates for the rehabilitation and replication of the Clark House located at 600 Whalen Road. This resolution and the proposal submitted by Bergman PC shall constitute the contract to be reviewed and approved by the town attorney. Be it further resolved, funds are available in the 2022 budget for these evaluation and design services. All right, a motion by Councilperson Lee with a second by Councilperson Ockenden. If there are no questions or comments, we'll move right to a roll call vote. Senti? Aye. Draw? Aye. Cole? Aye. Lee? Aye. Ockenden? Aye. All aye. That concludes our resolutions by function and is uh, just in preparation for our upcoming public participation session. Remember, you can phone us at 340-8771 or reach us at penfield.org. Is there any old business before the board or new business? No. Okay. I am not seeing anyone calling for public participation and no one online. There is no executive session scheduled for this evening, and our next meeting will be October 19th, 2022. Again, seeing no one waiting, I will declare this public participation section closed and uh, declare this meeting adjourned at 7.07 .07 p.m. I'd like to thank PCTV, our Deputy Town Clerk Sue Scheidt, and Security Greg. So thank you very much, and we'll see you back on October 19th. Thank you.